Hey guys, Winston for Carbide3D here. We're always looking to improve the value of our offerings, and today I want to talk about a new toolpath that we're adding to Carbide Create called Advanced VCarve. Note, this toolpath is only available in versions 460 and later of Carbide Create. Regular VCarving is great for text and fine details that are no wider than the V-bit you're going to be using. But if you have features that are wider than your cutter, or you don't want the cutter to have to plunge excessively deep so that the V-bit can touch both edges of your contour, or you want to keep your engravings shallow, this new toolpath is for you. Advanced V-Carve lets you make V-carvings to a fixed depth and pocket out the remaining area. This allows you to mill large but detailed designs efficiently. Here's how it works. First, we'll need a design. I'm going to use a duck because it has a large open area within its contours and a reasonable number of sharp corners and thin sections in its profile. To apply an advanced V-carve toolpath to it, you'll select the contour, or in this case contours plural since there's a little vector between the duck's cute little waddlers, and then choose your tools. I'm going to use a 60 degree V-bit like our 302 cutter for the V-carving portion of the toolpath. Then I'll enable pocketing and select an eighth inch end mill to work out the rest of the cuts. I'm using the default speeds and feeds for hardwood, but as usual, feel free to experiment. You'll see that where an eighth inch end mill will fit, there will be a normal pocketing toolpath. In areas that should be flat, but the eighth inch end mill can't access, the V-bit will use a really small step over toolpath to clear out a pocket as best as it can. Now, just for comparison, this is what a regular V-carving toolpath does. In this case, the strategy isn't going to work. The 302 is only half an inch in diameter, it won't be able to carve out this wide open area in the middle. Carbide Create doesn't take this into account for basic V-carve toolpaths, it's only concerned about keeping the bit at the mathematical center point between two walls. If we used advanced V-carving but without pocketing, this is the result we get. The toolpath hugs the contours and goes only as deep as it's allowed, in this case that was set at 3 16ths of an inch. And then, back to a pocketing enabled advanced V-carve, not only do we still respect the depth limit that we set in the toolpath, but we fully mill out the duck. Here's what that toolpath looks like run on the shape Oko. Following the prompts, I'll load up an 8th inch end mill. This one is the Amana 46200-K and let that toolpath run its course. Then, when it's time to change tools, I'll load up my V-bit and let the bit setter measure it and then continue. This is the result. Because it's crucial that the square end mill and the V-bit cut to exactly the same depth to prevent a mismatched floor in the pocketed area, and the toolpaths cannot be decoupled in Carbide Create, this workflow is currently bit setter only. However, an advanced V-carve without pocketing enabled can still be exported just fine and run on bone stock machines. Hopefully you guys find this toolpath a useful addition to Carbide Create, we'll have a link to download the latest build in the description below. Do note that this is an early iteration of Advanced V-Carve. If you run into any issues, please let us know in the Carbide 3D forums. Good luck and have fun machining, folks.